To write the name for FeNO32, the first thing you need to realize is that you have this polyatomic ion here. It's called the nitrate ion. You actually have two of them. So we have the nitrate ion, and it's bonded to iron, which is a transition metal. So let's write the name for the metal first. We're just going to call Fe, that's iron. And then we write the name for the polyatomic ion, the nitrate ion. That's one you should memorize. Lowercase n. So at this point, we have the name iron nitrate for FeNO32. The thing is that iron is a transition metal, so it can have different ionic charges depending on what it's bonded to, and we need to show that in the name. Here it's bonded to two of these nitrate ions. Each one has a 1 minus ionic charge. That's on the whole ion. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The iron has to have a 2 plus ionic charge for this all to add up to 0, to have a net charge of 0. Because it has this 2 plus, we write a Roman numeral 2 here in parentheses between the iron and the nitrate. So the name for FeNO32 is iron 2 nitrate. This is Dr. B with the name for FeNO32, iron 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.